Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before today you guys I'm going to be doing a scalp and head and neck massage this has been quite a highly requested video and I thought that today I will try to cover that area I personally think that head massage is one of my favorite things if I go to have a massage somewhere the massage the parts of my body that I look forward to the most are my feet and my head I absolutely love this kind of massage and actually I remember when I did my training um, as a massage therapist we did Indian head massage and that was one of my favorite things as we got to practice on each other so today we're going to work on the neck shoulder and head area and this kind of massage is fantastic if you hold a lot of tension in your neck and in your shoulders if you suffer from headaches but also this is amazing as far as promoting the hair growth um, if you would like to get longer hair or healthier hair this is amazing uh, but also if you suffer from allergies sinuses congestions this all will benefit as well so first thing i'm going to do is put my hair up just because we are going to start with the neck and the shoulders so we can use some oil uh, you can use any body oil um, if you don't have body oil you can use some face oil you can also use a body moisturizer so we're going to start with the back of the neck so i'm going to turn around and i'm going to start from the base of my skull and then i'm going to go down and in front so i'm going from the base of the skull to the sides and down so it's like a scooping sweeping motion where you're just going from the base of the skull and down i really like this movement because it really gets into those knots of the neck so just a few here and then i'm gonna go straight under the hairline also at the base of the skull and I'm just going in circular motions massaging the base of the skull and just under that hairline so just with the finger pads and you can go a little bit deeper into the hair as well so just warming everything up and kind of going behind my ears as well we will focus on the ears a little bit in a second and then I'm going to go onto one shoulder and I'm scooping from the back of my shoulder to the front. This is really good if you shrug your shoulders a lot um, and if you feel like your shoulders get very tense, maybe you do a lot of computer work or stay at your desk quite a bit. And then switch to the opposite side. You can take as much time doing this or as little. Uh, you can do just a few moves if a certain area is feeling extra tense or you can just do everything and then you can go with both and then I'm going with my fingers into the shoulders again circular motions here this is like a self shoulder massage of course it never feels quite the same as when somebody else does it for you but this will do as well so let's move on to the ears i'm going to take my fingers into a peace sign and i'm going over and under my ear almost like a scissor just up and down warming up all the lymph nodes you might feel a bit dizzy a little bit um, of nausea might appear that is totally normal um, when it comes to lymphatic drainage and then I'm going to pinch my fingers like this and we will work from the top of the e ears, ears, <laughs> ears. So I'm just kind of rubbing the tips of my ears, a lot of different nerve endings in our ears. And then I've kind of switched my grip to the, um, to the ear lobes. So you will feel different sensations in different parts of your ears. So just a couple movements here and then we will go into the neck so you have to if you need to reapply the oil do it now so i'm scooping from under the ear down towards the collarbone and we're draining towards that terminal node that is located just below the collarbone or above the collarbone rather so it's the supraclavicular node and then i'm going to take my knuckles and go in circular motions around my neck 
and you can go in the back of the neck and to the front. This is just a bit of a lymphatic drainage as well to drain the toxins. Helps with headaches, helps with puffiness in your face. So overall this is just very beneficial. So we're going to start with the head massage, but we're going to start from the forehead. So I'm going to take my fingers like this, place them just above my brows, and then I'm going to slide towards my hair and then go in circular motions in my hair. So here we're also benefiting the brows and the forehead lines. So we are lifting the brow and opening up the eye. But at the same time, we are promoting hair growth. And the way that this happens is that when we massage, we promote new blood and oxygen to come to the follicles and to the hair follicles and to the roots, which will promote more nutrients to come to those roots, which will create more hair growth. Okay, from here, I'm going to let my hair down because I prefer to do this with my hair down. I wanted to mention that you can do this massage with dry hair. You can do this massage with using oil. I actually really like doing this massage with using oil because what I then do is I leave the oil on, I wrap it either in a towel or a scarf and then I either go to sleep or I just like leave it there for ha half an hour or a couple of hours and then I go with my normal washing routine. Like this you also provide that benefit of the oil. You can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil or my favorite is castor oil. I will leave the link to this one below. This one is a little bit thicker um, but I really like it. I've been using castor oil from probably age of 10. That's what my mom used to rub into my hair when I was little. So I really like castor oil. So what I do, I apply it into my hands and then I continue with the massage. So but today I'm just going to show you the movements of the massage. So the first thing we're going to go in like little tents with our fingers and then we start from the ears in circular motions and meet your fingers at the back on your scalp and then you move through your whole scalp in the circular motions don't forget about the base of the skull as well really get into it and apply as much or as little pressure as feels good I absolutely love this this is probably my favorite massage ever, so I'm so glad you guys requested it. Then what I also like to do is I grab a bunch of hair like this and then I move it in a circular motion like this. And then I move to the other bit of hair and again just circular motion. So you're just holding on to the hair. You're definitely not pulling the hair too much. You're just moving the scalp around. And then we're going to go with a bit of a pinching. So you're kind of pinching. This might create a very interesting um, hairstyle, but just roll with it. Just stay, stay with me. So we're just pinching around the whole head <laughs> definitely create an interesting hairstyle and then continuing with the um with the fingers we're going to go in a zigzag motion like this so once you're on your head we go and meet the fingers and then you move on so again here apply as much pressure as you want So I kind of lift my fingers after every two times, otherwise um, my fingers get quite tangled in my hair, depending how, um, how long your hair is. I like to drop my head forward and do exactly the same at the back of my head. Then the next move what I, that I like to do is I like to link my fingers like this together and then I use the heels of my hands like this, massaging all over the head. Again, you're going in circular motions in the heels of the hands. 
really like the smooth because the pressure is more even and obviously the surface of the pressure is bigger than when you just use your fingertips and again you can flip your hair And then I just want to go back into the back of the neck a little bit so I'm going to put my hair up just for the sake of you guys being able to see more clearly. So I'm going to go just under my scalp, I'm going to go with my fingers going all the way up and then I release. So I go up and release. I'm gonna go in circular motions from the base of the skull onto the neck just everywhere around the ear and neck area and then I also like to lean my head to one side and then holding on to just my jawline I slide my hand from my ear towards the shoulder, just kind of elongating the muscle here. And to finish off going back to those fingertip circles all around the scalp, just going with almost like an intuitive mo movement and motion going places where it feels good going places where maybe you have the most tension and then let's place our ring fingers onto the temples and just go in circular motions on the temples with a bit of pressure just releasing any headache and then we go from the bridge of the nose over the brow and a bit of pressure at the temple. Pressure at the bridge of the nose, over and at the temple. So this is just to help with any headaches and release any tension. Let's go for three more here. And last one. And to finish off we just scoop and to finish off we just sweep from the forehead all the way down towards the collarbones sweeping down draining everything down and out and that is us done you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i feel incredibly relaxed now i definitely feel like I'm ready for bed. I hope you enjoyed it and you felt as relaxed as I do. If you have any questions at all, let me know. And if there are any other requests for massage videos or maybe body skincare videos, um, leave them in the comment section below. I will definitely have a look and try to film them for you. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, whatever you're up to. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!